Hi, I'm Ian Rysak, and we're going to take a look at how to jump through with straight legs. Um, so there's a couple things that you need to really have down to jump through with straight legs well. Um, one is you need to be able to learn how to jump up with some control, and there's other ways I recommend practicing that before you jump through with straight legs. Uh, the second thing is that you need to have a pretty deep forward bend, you know, and pretty much need to be able to easily bend down nice long hamstrings and, you know, put your head in your legs and straight leg forward bend or Paschimottanasana because, again, when you jump through with straight legs, you're basically doing a deep forward bend in the air and you're doing it with control. So, um, you know, again, even if you your forward bend is not that deep yet, you can still rec practice the other part, the jumping up with control in other ways first. Um, so the first thing we need to look at is downward dog. Again, downward dog is the base for all jumping. As far as jumping forward or jumping through goes, this is, uh, you know, the jump actually starts from getting the right set up in downward facing dog. So we need to be lifting in two places in downward dog. So again, you see some people, they're just overstretching, you know, they're just stretching in downward dog and there's no lifting happening at all. So the jumping is going to be much harder for these people and even if they can jump up, they're not going to have much control. So the idea is, again, the hands and the feet are your connection to the earth. As I press down through the hands, I try to take my humerus and my shoulders into external rotation. So my shoulder blades spread to the side. I try to draw my shoulder blades down into my back. And so again, that engages the serratus anterior muscles and a little bit the rhomboid muscles, and that stabilizes my whole shoulder girdle. So when I really get it, my neck's relaxed, but I feel like my armpits, and especially my inner armpits, are lifting up away from the ground. So it's kind of think of it like the armpits are like umbrellas. They lift up and they get deeper, and then I try to draw the other armpits down. The second place you need to be lifting is here in the kidneys, right? And so that comes from you know, the lower belly. So when I'm breathing properly, that really helps me to get into there. Each deep exhale, I kind of drop deeper into my lower belly. And then I kind of feel almost like my tailbone's moving back more. My kidneys are lifting up away from the ground. So I see it as there's two core places in downward dog. There's the core here. The kidneys are coming from the lower belly. And there's the core here in the back of the heart. Both of those two places need to be moving up away from the ground. So then we have to start practicing the jumping. So when I exhale, I like to bend my knees and really get deep into my belly. Again, keeping this nice and steady. And then inhaling, we try to think about jumping up because if we're going to do a handstand. So that's the first step. Is you have to start to get comfortable with taking weight onto your hands and getting the hips up as high as you can. So let's inhale, hips up, bring the weight onto the hands and then come down like that. So that's kind of step one. In the first place in the practice, we can really work on that is in our sun salutation. So when we jump to standing, so not just jumping right, forward with a heavy pelvis, but trying to jump up a bit first feel like you can control a bit with the weight on the hands and then put your feet down. So you can start by doing that with bent knees. And then again, once you jump up, you have to really connect the hands to the belly. Right, so as I'm lowering down, I'm pushing with my hands and I'm connecting that to this lifting. That's what allows me to come down with control. And then you can carry on. Again, once your hamstrings are a little longer and your forward bend's a little more open, you can do the same thing with straight legs. So again, you bend the knees to start, inhale, jump up, straighten the legs, again, push with the hands, lift from the back of the belly, and then put the feet down. Can we see those from the side, Ian? Mm -hmm. so again, Bend the knees, and then as soon as you jump, straighten the legs, push with the hands, and then try to put the feet down with control. And so again, as you're 
once you get up there into the handstand position and you start to lower down, you have to really press here and connect to here. So this keeps lifting away from the ground as you lower. Right, so then the next place we can work on is in the jump through. And again, I recommend starting with the usual way where you bend and cross. The idea is, again, you see some people, they just, they just kind of shoot through. So there's not much control happening there. So again, what we want to do is the exact same thing we, we did for the sun salutations, jumping to standing, except we want to keep the feet up and bend the knees. So again, it's jump up the exact same way, jump up and then bend, cross. And that takes a little more control as you lower down, pulling in here as you press down into the earth. And so again, the jump through with bent legs, I think should be kind of mastered in that way first before you try it with straight legs. And that develops the necessary control and strength. Pull the knees into the chest, lift the feet up, and then come down. So once that's mastered, and then again, as I said, once the forward bend is quite open, then you can try and do it with straight legs. And so again, some people end up getting lazy and they just do the kind of the straight leg shoot through instead of the straight leg jump through. So they kind of do this. It's like, and they usually land pretty heavy. Again, that brings a little bit of lightness and speed, but again, you're not working on the strength or the control there. So again, to do it with strength and control, we have to do it the same way I've been describing. This time you inhale and you jump up and you keep the legs straight. And this requires even more pulling in. So once you get up into that pike position with the straight legs, to clear the ground and bring the feet through, this requires the most pulling up of all. So you really have to squeeze in here, and then you can clear the ground. It's something like this. Squeeze in, and then come down. So again, there's a lot of action here with the connection of the hands to the earth. So, and to me, again, that's the, the biggest workout you can give yourself in terms of developing strength, um, which I do recommend, you know, as we go on in the practice and we're getting more and more flexible and mobile, we should be consciously trying to develop, you know, just as much strength to support that mobility. So many ways you can challenge yourself even in primary series. So. Yeah.